With the cover add-on for Invector's shooter template, you can bring more shooter action or stealth approaches into your game. The character controller will use the cover controller component, which has tons of options to customize, and a custom animator controller that includes a cover locomotion state and two new layers that handles aiming over the barrier, and cover corner animations. There's also some UI elements to draw a route from the player to a cover point and the corner arrow to perform corners while in cover mode. First, let's create a new cover controller by going to the menu in Vector, Cover Add-on, Create Cover Controller. Drag and drop your 3D model and hit Create. As you would normally do on any new character, adjust the handlers to fit into your character's hand. Add some weapons with the item manager. And create a new IK adjust list in the shooter manager. So we can adjust the global hand IK. Since every character has different rig bones, we need to adjust the global hand IK position and rotation to fit into this model. Now let's adjust the IK for the cover animations. First enter cover mode and you will see that each cover pose can be adjusted using the, a custom IK adjust. You can find each pose on this list and create an adjustment for each pose and each side as well. Hit create custom adjust and use the lock buttons to help stay in the position you need to create the adjustment. Once you find the pose you need, press ASK to unlock the cursor in the editor. Click anywhere outside the game window so that the camera stays in position. Now use the button lock camera to lock the camera forward. Now you can adjust the pose for your character. There is also a hipfire mode, which you can shot over the barrier without aiming. This will trigger a different animation and you can adjust the IK on this state as well by selecting the option lock hipfire. Now that we adjust the IK poses, the cover controller is ready to use. So let's learn how to create some cover points. Cover points are points that connected with each other, forming a cover line that the character can use to navigate through. These cover points will automatically identify if the cover point is a corner, left or right, and if it's valid to be used. Remember that you must bake the nav mesh on your scene in order to use the auto travel feature. Let's add some cover points into this truck by going to Invector, Cover, New Cover Line. Adjust the position by holding Shift and Control together. Now select the red square handlers to adjust the size of the cover line. Click on Add New Point and move it to where you want. The cover line will automatically create more cover points for you. To finish a loop of cover points, select the option Close and it will automatically finish the loop for you. It's also a good idea to add a nav mesh obstacle into your object. This way you don't need to keep baking the scene every time you move the object around.
Adjust the height and let's see the results. Good, but as you can see, the end of this corner is way too exposed. You can fix this by selecting the cover point Gizmos and moving it to create an offset. Now it looks much better. The cover controller will automatically identify if this is a standing or a crouch cover based on the crouch height value in the inspector. You can also create position offsets for corners while aiming and offsets for the camera state as well. To create a cover line into a rounded object, click on the button Make Circle and use the handlers to adjust into the object shape. You can also duplicate cover points to better fit into irregular objects. The cover point will automatically recognize the line once it's close enough. If the line is not connected, the character won't move through. This cover controller has a lot of cool features. So if you want to learn more, check the documentation or contact us at our official support or Discord channel. We spent a lot of time developing this add-on and we hope to see some very cool projects for you guys. Thanks for watching.